G'day guys, welcome back to another episode of Pete's Gold Adventures. Today is something a little bit different, we're in the shed. What I have done, I have mostly made my jaw crusher. So today, we're gonna put it together and give it a test and see how it goes. Alright guys, so here we go, there's all the bits and pieces to it. A little bit going on here. All painted up, ready to go. Got a pile of nuts and bolts and bearings. A couple of nice big uh, heavy wheels there. Bit of a channel sticker in there as well. Anyway guys, let's get set up and uh, yeah, let's get this thing put together. Hey okay, guys, as you can see, these are the plates. Lots of holes drilled, bearing fits into here. This is one of the jaws. Got the bars running vertical. I did have them sideways and actually, I don't know why, uh, didn't work. And then I noticed all the others in the world having them vertical, so switch those around. This plate, I've just got some weld on it, uh, just to give it a bit of grip. The other side can do the crunching, but yeah. So it's just a plain plate, that one. A lot of them did only have plain plates. This is where the magic happens. So this is basically just a shaft. I've offset welded uh, this bit of bar into the tube and I've got a couple of bearings on there. So effectively, if I hold the outer bearings, that's where I get the oscillation from for the crush. It doesn't move much, but it doesn't really have to. Quartz is not compressionable, so it will just explode. This is like a little, little adjustment plate that goes in the back, goes in the slot just here. And you wind that in to wind your plate in and out. So hopefully, it's only six mil, hopefully it's strong enough and doesn't bend. And the little legs are made up for it. So it sort of basically sits up on top of these little legs, put some little rubber feet on it there, so make it not slide around on the bench. Yeah, these are the, uh, like all good jaw crushers, have the big weight wheels on the side to give it a bit of inertia. These are actually disc brake rotors off an old Falcon. They're just old and worn out, so I thought they will make a perfect weight for the sides. So get this spinning, not a lot's gonna stop it. Alrighty guys, well, let's get stuck into it.
So guys, this is just a little uh, spacer, a couple of bearings on each side for the plate to roll on. So it's gonna go that hole there. This big guy goes through that hole. There's a bearing. So as you can see, as it oscillates, that will roll on those bearings just there. Okay, this will be the fun one, getting all that to line up. Place out this at the bottom so that plate rolls against those bearings there. If we wind that out, that opens that up. Makes for a bigger hole. Alrighty. Now to get these legs on. Alright you guys, time for the wheels to go on. Oh, so it's gone together okay, it's fought me a little bit, but <laughs> I've had it mostly together, not entirely. Alrighty guys, she's starting to come together. Well, actually it's pretty much together. Not a lot more to go. Got a little handle to put on here. It definitely does weigh a bit. <laughs> For the handle. So basically just a tube and then like a bolt. So what I'll do. Tube goes on there. Jumping the gun a little. Nut goes on there. I'm gonna take it up to, so it still spins. So we can sort of grab it and spin it. For a pre-drilled hole.
Yeah, so as you can see, there's a bit of V groove here. You could probably put a belt into that. Away she goes. Oh no, it's just about ready to go. Only one thing I might do is it hasn't got a lot of oscillation at the bottom because most of it's obviously up here where the tube is. I was thinking, depending on how much it ramps up when it rolls up and down these rollers, is to put like a little ramp behind it so as it pulls the plate up, it would push the plate in and it might just give it that little bit more crush. There we go guys, basically done. But, does it crush? <laughs> That's the thing. That's its job in life. So, how about we get set up, we get a little bit of quartz and we'll shove it in and hopefully we get its crush on. Alrighty guys, got this container. Perfect size, fits under just nicely. I have some quartz here. This is actually some good looking quartz. It's actually for a little project uh, for another video, but I'll just steal a little bit of it and I'll put it through here. I have no idea if this has got gold in it, but hey look, we'll stick it in. See what happens. Very uh, oxidized. She's a uh, complete rust to say. Who knows? Might have gold. Well, that was the first go. Look, I think I need to just get the oscillation going down a bit further, but like the bulk of it. is now sort of small enough to put through the uh, hammer mill. So the object of this is crush it in this uh, jaw crusher and then put it in the hammer mill. So I might just sort of try and squash these again. We'll shove them in the hammer mill and see what happens there. Alrighty guys, so I actually closed the jaws up, like pretty tight, and actually took down this really fine stuff. Um, it actually seemed to work better when I threw more material in. If you only had sort of one rock in there, yeah, it didn't like it as much, but it was working better. So it's look, it's 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 its first go. It had no real design. <laughs> I just sort of made it up as I went along to a degree. But um, anyway, this is now well and truly small enough to put through the hammer mill. So. Might as well put it through and uh, see if we've got any gold. Alrighty, for anyone that hasn't seen, or you're like new to the channel and you haven't seen my setup, this is my little hammer mill. I'll show you inside in a second. But yeah, it runs down here into a bucket, and that pipe then leads outside. So all the dust is outside, and in here is dust free. I believe it's a good system. Like, it's dust free, it doesn't blow it everywhere, so works for me and I can use it in my shed so alrighty guys I'm gonna pull the side of the mill off now just to clean anything out that's inside and 
Yeah, we'll see what we've got. And yes, the bolts are an overkill. It was just because these plates were pre-punched with an 18mm hole. I thought, I'll just get 18mm bolts. So anything bigger than one mil will get stuck inside the mill. There we go guys, that's what's inside the mill. So there's two D shackles, or bow shackles, with a bit of Bizaloy steel welded to the shackle just to give it a bit more smack. But as you can see, it doesn't completely empty out, it leaves a little bit inside, so we'll get that cleaned out, get in the pan, see what we got. Alrighty guys, this is the material once it's all gone through the mill. So yes, once upon a time with a big rock, now it's powder. Alrighty, I'll get this uh, panned up and we'll see what we can come up with. Alrighty guys, you probably won't be able to see it. It's actually, I'll let it dry, but there is, oh, there, it's so fine. It's just so flowery, but it, yeah, it's up around here, but it's just, it's so, it's just flower gold. So it's really super fine. I had to use basically the jeweler's loop to see it. So it is not very coarse at all but anyway that's all right um wasn't all about the uh quartz i was crushing tonight it was more about the jaw crusher itself well guys that's it for this episode so i hope you enjoyed it something a little bit different um it's not very often you see anyone build a jaw crusher um i've not really seen too many at all only one or two but anyway guys if you like this episode don't forget to share like and subscribe we'll catch you on the next one cheers